Hello there everybody, this is Nat Yoshi here, and today, let's play Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer on the Nintendo Wii. And yes, this was an actual game that came out on the Wii. I'm not joking, I'm not making this up. And also, Merry Christmas Eve everybody, we're one day away from my favorite holiday of all. That or Halloween, I can never decide between the two, I love them both so much. Hold the Wii remote like this! Uh, okay, thank you for that. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, you guys looking forward to Christmas tomorrow? I know I'm looking forward to Christmas tomorrow. You know, there's always been two days in the year that I always look forward to, Christmas and Halloween. You know, Halloween is just a lot of fun, and Christmas is a lot of fun as well. Yeah, they're my favorite holidays for a good reason. And, uh, I figure, you know, why not, why not uh, you know... Have a little fun. Let's uh, let's play a Christmas game for once on my channel. You know, something to get us in the mood for Christmas tomorrow. Of course, I'll be watching Christmas Story later tonight, too, so there's that as well. I love A Christmas Story. That is seriously one of the best Christmas movies ever, if not the best ever. And uh, not a whole lot in the options, so we're just going to go and jump straight into the story mode. Oh, man, I wonder what this is going to be. Is this going to be like an action platformer or something like that? Something cool? That would be amazing. You know, playing as Rudolph going through levels and whatnots. Oh man, this this has to be good. This has to be super awesome. Welcome to Christmas Town, also known as the North Pole. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sam the Snowman. Nice to meet you. What? Haven't you heard of a talking snowman before? Well now, you got here just in time. Santa needs your help decorating his tree and filling his bag of toys for Christmas. Where is Santa, you ask? Why, he's just up the road a bit. First castle on the left, well, the only castle on the left. Hurry along now, Santa and the elves are waiting. Uh, okay, that doesn't sound very awesome. Help get ready for Christmas. You need to decorate and put presents under the tree and also put toys in Santa's bag. Bounce the items to the crook's side by jumping under them as they fall. Tilt the Wii Remote left and right to move, and the Wii Remote upward, or press the 2 button to jump. Wait, what? Uh, uh huh? What's going on? Bounce it to the uh, tree! What the? What are you doing? What the? Why am I bouncing this on my head? Why is this not breaking upon contact? Are we What? Okay, so apparently Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer on the Wii is a minigame collection. Yay, the Wii only has so many of those. But, uh, yeah, to say this minigame stinks is an understatement. Um, yeah, I don't know why he's not just handing me the decorations, but this, this is ridiculous. The bag is right there! Just drop it in, you lazy elf! Why do you need me to bounce it off my head? That makes no sense. You know, it's, it's weird enough that he's dropping packages on my head and glass bulbs and ornaments and whatnot. But seriously, the bag is right there. It's not even a, sh you know, a lob shot or anything. You literally just drop it in the, there's another one. Just drop it in the bag. That's all you gotta do. Why is it required that it bounces off my head? What if it hits my antlers and I impale it by accident or something like that? Wouldn't that be bad? So yeah, to say this minigame makes absolutely no sense whatsoever is an understatement. And I think that's my number one problem with this game. Um, it doesn't really follow the movie all that well, if I'm going to be honest. You know, if you want to make a minigame collection with a Christmas theme, that's fine. And you want to make it off of uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Awesome! I love Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That's one of my one of my favorite Christmas specials ever. You know, but if you're going to do that, how about you know, make take it take some uh, ideas from the movie or not the movie, but the special. You know, how about uh, instead of just this? How about something like how about a mini game where you're trying to um, find your way back to Christmas Town or something like that? That'd be fun. Or better yet, how about a platformer or something like that? That'd be f that'd be pretty fun. But no. Anyways, uh, let's move on to the next mini game, which is the worst of all, unfortunately. 
You did a fine job up at the castle. There are many toys waiting to be finished before the big night, and time is running short. Could you go over to Santa's toy shop and help paint the toys? Isn't that normally the elf's job? Help paint the toys! Paint the toys when they glow by moving the Wii Remote up and down like a paintbrush. Yeah, isn't this normally the elf's job to paint to make the toys? I thought that was established in the TV series, or <laughs> why do I keep saying series? In the TV special where, you know, remember Hermie and how he was considered a misfit? I don't know what happened with my Wii, Wii Remote there. But remember how he's a misfit because he didn't like making toys? He was an elf that didn't like making toys. He'd much rather be a dentist. So why is it that these two elves here aren't helping me out? You know, if we really need to paint all these toys this fast, shouldn't you guys be helping out? You know, just grab some paint apparently because you can just pick up a ball of paint and that'll work. Seriously, how does that work? I don't understand that. I thought you couldn't pick up paint. I thought, you know what? It's a video game. I'm not going to question the logic any further. It's pretty weird, though. Uh, to say the controls for this game and even the last game are pretty underwhelming is an understatement. Like, with the last game, you're literally just uh, tilting the Wii Remote left and right and occasionally jumping to bounce the items a little higher. And that's it. Uh, with this one, you're just thrusting the Wii Remote forward. That's it. You, you know, the sad part is this could have been a lot better if you used the pointing function, you know, point at the toy, push the button to throw the paint. That could have been fun. But no, you're just thrusting it forward. And to say it's boring, quite the understatement. Uh, this game, I'm not going to lie, it sucks. But it's the only Christmas game I could find in time, so I figured, you know what, it's fine, I'll, I'll play it, why not? Someone's got to do it right. You know, the Wii viewers already done a review of this game, but nobody's, I haven't seen an LP of this game yet, so... Yeah. Of course, that ain't going to have to look that hard now, have I? And I don't know why that counted. That probably shouldn't have counted, but uh, cool, I got 48 points. Yay, I can't wait to brag to all my friends about that. Oh, wait, I don't have friends. <laughs> oh, I'm so lonely. The toys are ready for children all over the world. What's next, you ask? Why, cookies, of course. I see the elves have started to bake. You should get going. Just to clarify, I do have friends. That was just a joke. Help make Christmas cookies for Santa. Move the Wii Remote like the pictures to make lots of delicious cookies for Santa. The picture will help show you what to do as well. Uh, you okay? This is probably the best of the mini games, honestly, because, uh, you know, it's got a little bit of variety to it. So you start by rolling out the dough, cooking mama style, or like in real life. Then you thrust the Wii Remote down to put the cookie cutters into the dough. Then you, uh, throw the pan into the oven by swiping to the right. Then you uh, hold the Wii Remote uh, upside down and shake it, kind of like you're uh, putting sprinkles or something on there. And yeah, it's kind of like a very simplified version of uh, Cooking Mama. And it's, it's okay. It's better than the first two games, but honestly, it's still nothing to write home about. And uh, yeah. Yay, cookies. I do like Christmas cookies, don't get me wrong, but these are virtual cookies that I cannot eat, unfortunately. I wish they were, because they do look pretty delicious, but, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of surprising how fast these things cook, too, you know? I guess they are going on an open fire from the looks of things, though, so I imagine that heats up the dough a little faster than a normal oven, but, uh, what do I know? I don't cook all that often. I think, uh, usually, usually when I cook, I usually just use a microwave or an oven, so I don't have a whole lot of experience with it, mainly because I'm, I'm lazy, what can I say? I'd rather just go to McDonald's and get a cheeseburger really quick or something like that, but that's just me. So, yeah. But, uh, next up is the last minigame. Yep, you heard me right. There's only four mini games in this collection. That is truly pathetic. 
And we only get to choose one of the elves. Let's be the jerk. The big moment has arrived. Santa and his elves need your help to deliver the toys to all the children of the world. Oh, the weather is stormy and snowy, but don't fret. Rudolph will be leading the way. It's time to save Christmas. Yeah, when I say the jerk, I'm assuming this is the same elf that threw things at my head. Help deliver the toys for Christmas. Use the Wii Remote to drop the toys into the chimneys below. You will still get a point if you drop the toy onto the house. Just to clarify, I don't know if, if this is the same elf that was throwing things at my head earlier. Hopefully Rudolph didn't get a concussion from all those things he threw at his head, elf boy. But, uh, yeah, I'm just assuming it is, because, hey, look at that. He likes throwing things, too. And, uh, well, you know, a minigame that actually resembles the movie. About time, right? And gotta love the background, too, with, uh the characters in the background there so you don't have to hit the chimney but if you do then you get extra points and I you know I just gotta stop and ask something real quick Santa Claus do you have like a whole separate section of your factory dedicated to umbrellas because you know obviously the elves are making the toys and whatnot so who's, who's making the umbrellas um, maybe just bought him in a store, but then again, it's Santa Claus, so he can't exactly go out around publicly now, can he? I mean, he, I guess he could if he was disguised or something like that, but, uh, I don't know, I'm looking too far into this now. So, yeah, this is the last game, unfortunately. It's a very short game. I'm literally going to be in less than 15 minutes. And for a game on the Wii, or really just any game this, that came out during this generation of consoles that is truly pathetic even most uh, NES and Super Nintendo games lasted longer than this so and I think this game used to be 20 bucks are you kidding me great job Christmas has been saved yay I saved Christmas even though I missed that last house because the timer ran out oh well sorry Timmy ah all the toys have been delivered on time Thanks to you and all your fine work, Christmas has been saved! Santa and the elves are already planning for next year. As for Rudolph and the others, let's just say they will go down in history. Yep, that's the end of the game. I'm not even kidding. I don't even play the credits, strangely enough. And for anyone wondering where the Rudolph theme is, it's in the credits. And I would show it off, but I'm a little nervous about uh, getting a copyright track or something like that. Even though it's not the actual theme, it's just a instrument instrumental version. So I'm not going to show that off, but I'm going to give my final thoughts, and I'm just going to play this uh, mini game again because why not? I want to give the characters their uh, moments to shine. And uh, yeah, so what do I think of this game? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it worth a buy? Uh, if I'm going to be honest, um, it's pretty shallow, pretty forgettable, pretty meh, pretty, pretty lame, pretty, I don't know what else to say. It's just very underwhelming, very unfun in my opinion. You know, maybe, maybe I would have found this more fun if I was still a kid, but I even then I think this is too simple. This is, you know, too simple, too meh you know it's nothing like super mario world or you know super mario brothers 3 or donkey kong country 1 or 2 i'll still say this are donkey kong country 3 don't get me wrong there but uh yeah and i'm sure i'm gonna get a lot of angry comments for saying that but uh hey what can i say i don't like donkey kong country 3 i really hate that game but what I read is, you know, as bad as, say, Sonic 06 or something like that? No, absolutely not. You know, this game is playable, but the problem is there's really no appeal. If you want a better Christmas game, get We Wish You a Merry Christmas on the Nintendo Wii. That's actually not a bad one. And I'm, I'm sure there's other good Christmas games out there, but this, unfortunately, is not one of them. So, yeah, this game stinks. So... I, I can say take pride in saying I only bought this for five dollars on eBay one year just because I thought why not add to the collection you know I like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer maybe I'll find some appeal to, into it and you know I five bucks I think I got my money's worth but at the end of the day 
it, it's still a very shallow game that I don't recommend. You know, if you have kids, maybe, but I wouldn't go any further than $5. You know, this is definitely no $20 worth game. This is not worth $50. Certainly, certainly not that much. And that stunk there. That orb ornament should have been able to be hit onto the tree there. But, uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. This game, it sucks. But anyways, folks, uh, this is my uh, Christmas uh, special for this year. I do plan on doing another one next year, probably. Maybe I'll do a uh, different christmas theme game, I'm sure. And uh, this will actually be my last LP for the year. Uh, it stinks that we have to end on such a bad note, but... Uh, don't you worry, because it's not going to be the last video of the year. There's still one more video I plan on doing this year, so... I'm not going to say what it is, but it should be out by New Year's Eve, so... Uh, see y'all then, and uh, hope you all have a Merry Christmas. Later.